All right. <clears throat> we know that this this thing is called a nanogon. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this is what is a polygon in Revelations because a polygon is all of these from three up to nine. Okay, so a polygon. You notice in this picture, you see the teapot right there? Saturn is sometimes uh, a teapot because it's a freaking pressure cooker. You know, it, it doesn't hit you all at once. It just is slowly keeps building pressure. That's why that's in there. Um, this, it, this is this. No doubt in my mind that these two are the same. Okay, I showed you that Masonic picture. Here it is here. Okay, this is just a two-dimensional version of the thing that you see sitting outside. This is a cube that would be sitting upright between the two pillars. It's a reproducing fractal. Okay, now check this out. So, I go to get on my bike to go to the store, my motorcycle. Look at the odometer. You know, I mean, I just rolled my eyes because I'm so used to this shit happening, but, I mean, give me a break. I mean, if you got 369, you got 369, then you got 009, and then it was rolling to 6. I turned these three into 777. I ain't playing that shit. You know? Um, I'm just telling you how wild and weird this shit gets. You got this little thing, Mega Man. So you got the red and the blue, and you got the number nine. You know, which goes back to this guy. Now, I want to show you this. Takes a, It's the same line of study that we've been doing, but... So here we have the red, the red pillar, the blue pillar. You see the X? Now, you think it's C is for cereal, but it's really not. It's... C, it's for the word surreal so it's really surreal okay so C is 3 because it's A is 1, B is 2, C is 3 so C is for surreal and this is post okay now we're talking post, now we're talking pole okay you got the red and you got the blue you got the X here, you got the O here so basically, they're telling you that, that, in my opinion, they're telling you that this thing is, it, it's, it's not, like, reality isn't what it appears to be. Whatever this thing is, it's dropping hints. So let's look at this just from a video. This thing will come around here. Okay. Well, we can see that this background is fake. These guys are superimposed on here. Okay, you can see around his head. She's in blue, he's in red and black because Saturn is acting as the center pillar, the piece that's missing. Saturn is trying to make that up, but we're stuck on a loop. Here's the thing from the Sandy Hook thing, the Noah's Ark. Red, blue, black. Red and blue, black. Okay, it's, now look, here's the same kid. This is a Christmas ornament. Now, it's interesting that they got this ornament because it was a Jewish family. Jewish families don't hang up Christmas tree bulbs. Sorry. But um, did any of you ever put up a black Christmas tree bulb? I'm sure that you didn't. Now, why do you think that's black? Just take a wild guess. Because number three is black. Now, why, why, why would they have a black bulb with this kid named Noah on it? I'm going to show you. Most Christians, people that read, have no idea that a lot of scholars think Noah and Saturn are the same dude. It says the gold, the golden age of Saturn was between Noah and the dispersion of nations. In Noah's time, all mankind had but one language, which the heathens extended under Saturn, both to men and beasts. The plantation of vines attributed to Saturn by the heathens 
as to Noah by the scriptures, the law of Saturn mentioned by the poets, that none should seek the nakedness of gods without punishment, seems to respect the fact that the curse of Cham in reference to Noah, that was a story where his son saw him naked and then they got cursed. Saturn and Rhea and those with them are said to be born of Thetis, or the ocean, which plainly alludes to Noah and his companies escaping the flood. Thence a ship was a symbol of Saturn, and that Saturn devours children seems to be nothing else but the destruction of an old world by Noah's flood. And not only under Saturn, but under Prometheus too, was Noah's memory preserved. Diodorus speaks of the great flood under Prometheus, and Prometheus implies one that hath forecast and wisdom such as Noah had whereby he foretold the flood and was saved in it, while others were uh, too tired to pronounce the word that had not witnessed to prevent their own destruction. So they're telling you that Saturn is Noah. And Saturn, the black one right here, is right here. So you see, you see Saturn has taken a place of this what used to be here. See the line used to go straight to the top, but it don't no more. These two were connected. This piece is what's busted. This is the hexagon. This is the cube. This is this thing. Squashed down. So Sandy Hook. What the fuck is going on in Sandy Hook? This is much more than, than people can imagine. This is the thing in the stairwell. Absolutely. It's the thing in the stairwell. It's this thing too. It's this guy here. It's this kid here. That's why it's the hope. No, the Noah's Ark of Hope. Okay? Here are the office. It's the same thing as this. You see, it's a reoccurring pattern. Red and black, blue and black, and just black. It's the same thing on this. This is the red pillar, this is the blue pillar. And this, this, which should, should be the center pillar, is being represented by Saturn, which is black. And that's why you're seeing it in this configuration and in this configuration. You guys, are you guys getting it? It's just a reoccurring, I mean, this is, it's like a fucking, it's like a fucking a dream machine or some shit. You know, I can see the codes. I can see them. They're there. That's why they did this commercial this way. It's surreal. It's, it's, it's a, it's an imagery and, or, it's a great in course of Fanta magic shadows. See, that's what this is. I don't know who made this thing or what it is, but this is what our reality is. It has to be. I, I mean, I'm going to do more on this. I'll show you tomorrow a very simple and very well-known symbol, which ex explains this a little bit more in depth, at least from my opinion. And that's all this is. Remember, I ain't nobody. I'm a stupid fucking tree man, an idiot at best, but unlike the other idiots that are on here, I can admit that I'm an idiot. Okay? I don't need anybody to come over and try and cut me down. I can accept the fact that I'm a complete and utter moron of global proportions. You guys, on the other hand, and I don't mean the people that are watching my videos, you guys, you know who you are. You, you, you two try to do what's called the seesaw effect. Here's how it works. You think by putting me down, it puts you up. But really all you're doing is you're putting yourself up to be noticed more of an idiot than I am being down here. So you keep on doing what you're doing and keep on telling the world that you're smart and that you love everybody. Because every time you do that, you just you just reveal yourself to be more of a liar and a bullshit artist. Okay? I don't love people on here and I know I'm stupid. You guys on the other hand tell everybody that you that you that you love everybody and that you got it all figured out. Fuck the fuck off. Okay? You got some of it figured out. I got some of it figured out. The guy over there's got some of it figured out. This guy over here's got some of some of it figured out. That's why every religion has a piece of the puzzle, because they all stem from the same fucking puzzle. So of course you're gonna have some of it, you dumb shits. So anyway, I'll do some more on this tomorrow. It's late and I'm. Ugh, this shit will take a toll on you.